So what up 2K fans? You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. Today I want to share with you guys how I get my hotspots, all of my hotspots, in one day or less. If you do this right, you can check your hotspots before every session and make sure you're shooting well no matter what changes 2K makes to the shooting this year. Now I'm on a brand new build, I do this with all of my brand new builds. Obviously the first place you want to go is to the art of shooting and link up with lethal shooters. So we know this already. Now obviously I plan to share this build with you guys in an upcoming video. It's a shooter, three point shooter, mid range shooter. Currently I have no close shot, no layup rating, so those areas are cold. But yeah, I already saw a lethal shooter, already hit my shots. If you haven't come here before, if you're new to this game or this video, he'll give you two spots to choose from and you make those shots in those areas and that becomes a hot spot. Now I want you guys to notice something right here, real quick, just take a look at this. I'm shooting on Hall of Fame difficulty, right? Slightly late, right? This is on Hall of Fame difficulty in my career mode. A lot of people don't know this, but the level of difficulty you have it set to in my career mode affects your shooting in here. Look at this, I'm missing all my shots, right? Everything's slightly off. So if you're missing your shots, it might be because you have it on Hall of Fame difficulty. Take it down to All-Star Pro, but you guys are gonna see a tremendous difference now that I changed the settings. Look at this now, I should be knocking down all of my shots, everything's gonna be green, and this is just simply because I changed the difficulty. As you guys saw before, I couldn't make a shot, now I'm making shots from even farther away. So if you come in here and you're missing shots, check the level of difficulty you're on, that can make a big difference, and it, it can sometimes change the way you feel about a jump shot. Now a lot of people will tell you to head over to the Gatorade facility, team up with a friend, play some 1v1, knock down a bunch of shots for free, and you'll get your hotspots. That is true. But what if you just don't have any friends online at the moment? Or maybe you just want to get it done real quick uh, before dinner or before work because when you get home, it's going to be time to play that comp game. Or maybe you have a big wager match you're going to play and you don't have time to be waiting for a friend to show up to take shots with. It's 10.45 in the morning. I've got a couple friends online that I can reach out to, but not everybody has a list like that. I mean, I could probably get a couple guys to come run, but not everybody has access to friends that can just jump on and take shots with real quick. Uh, which one of you guys could come to the Gatorade facility uh, with me real quick? I wanna, I'm, I'm just getting a clip for a video I'm doing. Don't matter, just bring anything. You can do it, don't matter. Uh, yeah, I'll just invite you to my location. I think it'll work. A lot of people do this, but the problem with it is, Two people now gotta waste their time, you know what I'm saying? And what if your friends ain't on? Like, if I didn't hit you up this morning, I know you got other friends, but what if you ain't got nobody on, you know? This method does work at no cost to the loser, but not everybody has a friend that has that kind of time to waste. What I like to do is come to Sunset Park, and it really doesn't matter what park you go to, because you're gonna be cheesing off screens to make shots, but they have some of the easiest matchups for you to take shots over. You're gonna know, face guys like Disco, and he's got a team full of point guards. Doesn't really matter, you can shoot right over these guys. Now keep in mind, I like to check my hot spots before we have events at the event center or we get into any kind of competitive environment. I like to check those spots to make sure that they're hot. If they're not, we're gonna come over here and clean it up before we have those matchups. So before you go in, check your hot spots, see what you have to work on. To get everything red, you may have to clear all of Sunset and maybe half of the point. Might take you a couple hours, but it'll be worth it with all the badges you're getting. Now at first, you're gonna just take whatever the defense gives you. Especially with these little guys, like you can just shoot right over them. Which is actually really great for dead eye and catch and shoot. But eventually you're gonna have to apply some focus fire, which means you're gonna start shooting in the locations exactly where you wanna get your hot spot. So this is where we start cheesing from behind the screens. This is very easy to do. You're gonna call for a screen on either side, run that defender into the screen, make sure he goes behind the screen. Don't take the shot if he goes in front of it, and then just pull and knock it down. Get your timing down. In no time, you'll be just splashing threes the whole game in the exact spot that you wanna get that hot spot. In most cases, it only takes me one game, but it, there have been several cases where it took me two games. It just kind of depends on how many shots you took the night before, maybe playing multiplayer. You can also use this method to get Agent and Space Creator up. So you're working on those badges, put those in overdrive, or maximum overdrive if you have five builds over 95 overall, and you'll get your badges up almost immediately. So 
Definitely try this method, it's really easy to do. You can get any kind of shot off, and this can be done all over the court. To get some of your mid-range locations hot, consider doing post fades on the little guys. Just pick a location on the court anywhere, call for the ball, do a turnaround fade, and you'll be greening those too, and get in those hot spots as well. And because I'm calling for a screen, it kind of negates the double team. As long as you do it early in the play, the double team won't really get there in time, and you'll be able to take any shot that you want. And once you get takeover or mamba, you can make every shot in the locations that you want to make. I typically do this before we run rec or team pro-am, whatever it is that we're gonna do. I come out here to make sure my hot spots are complete all around the court. This is why when I go to lethal shooters, I only choose the locations that I don't normally shoot in. And I always know I could just come here and repair any damage that I've caused from having a bad game. So use this method to get your hot spots. If you want my jump shot, the link to that video is in the description. Now after clearing sunset and the point on a brand new build, this is how it looks. Make sure you get your jump shot attributes up first so you won't have any problem getting all of your hot spots. Now I have heard some mixed reviews where some people were saying that they, they lose their hot spots or they're not permanent. I'm gonna just tell you from my experience that isn't the case. We had two times rep in the rec center. We played a bunch of games and I didn't lose any hot spots. Uh, then we continued on throughout the week, Monday through Wednesday. I shared with you guys on Twitter, didn't lose any hot spots. So other than not shooting well or having a really bad game, I'm not sure why you'd be losing your hot spots. Obviously lethal shooter spots will disappear after a week if you don't shoot in those areas. Uh, but I try to maintain those as well. So always go to lethal shooter, then come out here, get the rest of your hot spots, and you should be good. So a lot of people been complaining about 2K tweaking the shooting. So we gotta get these hot spots down so we're prepared no matter what when our jersey is called. When the game first came out, a lot of us was coming off of playing 2K22, all our builds maxed out, raining shots from everywhere. Then you come over here, no hot spots, brand new builds, new servers, new shot timings to get used to. Hello? A lot of us had to switch to all new jump shots. We had to learn new bases, new releases. None of that takes too long, but we also had to learn how to deal with the new contest system because we had a lot of ghost contests going on. Hot spots won't save you from all of that, but they will help you shoot a lot better in those circumstances. Another big reason you need your hot spots is because they help you get and maintain your badges better. We all know that keeping your badges up is part of the grind now, and if you're a shooter, you definitely want to have those hot spots so you're making the shots that you're taking when you're wide open, so those badges are not trending in the wrong direction. A third reason you need your hot spots, as I mentioned earlier, it'll help you shoot through those 2K shooting nerfs. I've had way more good shooting games than I've had bad shooting games, and I know we all tweet about the bad ones, and we feel like 2K messed everything up the one game you don't shoot well. But I promise you, you'll make a big comeback and have max confidence in that next game, knowing you still got those hot spots. And the fourth and final reason you wanna have those hot spots is so that way you're better prepared for those comp games and wagers. I'm not saying you need to be fiending for hot spots and repairing those cold zones before every game, every time you switch a build, but it's definitely smarter to get those zones hot before you play comp. Especially if you're gonna go into the event center knowing that things might change in there, like the release time. So get those hot zones up and cook from everywhere. But anyway, let me know in the comment section, man, what's your strategy for getting your hot spots? This is mine. This is the one that works for me. I do this every other day or two. Whenever I see one missing, I just come over here, knock it out, get it back, and I'm back to shooting really good again. So I haven't really struggled through all the changes that 2K's been making with the shooting, and I'm shooting with an 83 ball. So as always, smack that like and subscribe. Click the bell for notifications so you can be there for my streams. And I'll see you guys in the next one.